Decompression illness, DCI, encompasses two diseases, decompression sickness, DCS, and arterial gas embolism, AGE. DCS is thought to result from bubbles growing in tissue and causing local damage. DCS most commonly refers to a specific type of scuba diving hazard, but may be experienced in other depressurization events, such as flying in an unpressurized aircraft and extravehicular activity from spacecraft. Bubbles forming in or near joints are the presumed cause of the joint pain of a classical bend. When high levels of bubbles occur, complex reactions can take place in the body, usually in the spinal cord or brain. Signs of DCS include skin shows a blotchy rash, muscle weakness, joint pain, collapse, and fatigue. Treatment is by hyperbaric oxygen therapy in a recompression chamber which slowly recompressurizes the body so that the bubbles may be removed. If treatment early, there is a significant higher chance of successful recovery. Deep, long dives, exercise at depth, or after dive will decrease the chances of DCS occurring. Exposure to altitude or flying too soon after a dive also increases the risk of decompression sickness. AGE results from bubbles entering the lung circulation, traveling through the arteries and causing tissue damage at a distance by blocking blood flow at the small vessel level. This usually happens when divers surfaces without exhaling. Air trapped in lungs expands with ascent and may rupture lung tissue, called pulmonary barotrauma, which releases gas bubbles into the arterial circulation. This distributes them to the body tissues in proportion to the blood flow. Since the brain receives the highest proportion of blood flow, it is the main target organ, where bubbles may interrupt circulation if they become lodged in small arteries. To prevent AGE and DCS, make sure to exhale when surfacing and always surface at slow, constant rate.